So now I finish the countertop, including these two separate parts for the kitchen. Um, put four coats of shellac and three top coats of uh, very thin polyurethane. And just to finish it off, uh, I'll put some uh, wax on it. Already started working here and there. And I'll put another one on to finish it. I put some contact cement on my board as well as on the formica and now I'm going to put both together and I have to be a little bit careful. Let me do this, yep. I already did the other side. Now I got it in place and this one so that works I let it dry for a bit and now I gotta set up to route the edges okay did some more sawing Remove the inner panel, but I still have to do these corners, so there's a practical use for my new portable router station as well. I have to clean it up now a little bit, do some finishing, and then install it in the van. What I decided to do is probably the easiest way. There are several locations already in the metal frame that will allow me to put in a plug nut. And you'll see in the video a link to one of my videos about how I use those. On this edge I need to put a support strip. I'm gonna pre-drill these holes. Okay, starting to improve things a little bit. Create this uh, window surround. And the first thing I'll do is get this in here. Okay. So, so we lost most of that bare metal. And here on top, and that's what I'm going to do after the countertop and the fridge is ready. I'll probably make a storage area for my daily stuff that I need to, to eat. So for some dishes, some mugs, maybe some spices. We'll see how that works out. But uh, next... I'm trying to finish the surroundings around the uh, fridge. I'm going to apply some contact cement on the wood. Then we have the formica. 
it is going fine so I'll let it rest for a couple of minutes and see what we can do then As for this, I've got two other pieces, one here at the bottom, one at the top. Those are at the right height, but I have to adjust the length exactly to the piece that's going to come over here. So I'll probably glue in the left part first, and then fit those two in between. Okay, I got this panel still left. That square here, and now I have to shorten it, it on the left hand side, so let's do that first. Use my sander for that. That's pretty good. So the next step is getting some glue on it. Hey Joey! <laughs> Joey's watching out for me. Let's hope that this works. What I'll probably do first tomorrow is install the main countertop, no, I'm going to install the induction uh, cover first, then I can exactly finish the countertop for a permanent install here, and when that's done, I'll put the uh, fridge in. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Let's do it the right way. Okay, let's see. Now, I want to do this cover. So I centered this, this hinge, and it was quite a bit of work. And now I'm screwing it together. That works. Now I have to adjust the main countertop a little bit. Hey Joey. Now they can see you're watching over me. It's not that warm anymore, but he's uh, still searching for some shade. I'm going to attach the countertop with ordinary wood screws, but I'm going to make a slot in here. So they will be fixed in the rear but it will be able when it expands or contracts in summer and winter. I have a slot here so it can move and it uh, wouldn't break, otherwise it could really break, uh, break apart. Now I should put in the front ones first. So I can still move it into place, and then I'll do the ones in the back. Okie do. But it's still going on. Let me see what I can do. Oh. 
Okay, this is secured now. Now I have to do the back side. Already, already had the holes partially done. Now it's about the fridge. Okay, that's the 12 volt. Then I got my 110. Okay. Now this I can open and that's the cover, that's where the induction cooktop is. This is my charging station, I already got one in there but uh, I want to charge all my batteries. They will have a 110 volt outlet as well as uh, a couple of uh, 12 volt as well as USB outlets. Um, so I can cover that induction cooktop, then wait, I can cover this. This is still a little bit loose, but I'm putting some uh, felt on all the sides so that it doesn't uh, move when I'm driving. Oh, before I go, please pay attention to these uh, missing children. If you have any information, please call the appropriate number. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.